Hello, Zoner Bricks here. Um, so you guys probably saw my short. If you're new, then welcome to Zoner Bricks. And if you're uh still, uh if you're been watching my channel, um, you'll know that I posted a short of my new suspension, pneumatic suspension, on my Ford Raptor mock. Um, and it's the Ford Raptor body, Legos for Raptor body modded a little bit and put on to the Zetros body. So it is remote control. Um, and so, um, first off, the suspension goes from, uh, let me see if I can get in there. There, that little black spot to there. It's quite a bit of height. And the that metal piece, that all of that metal is all suspension. On the old shocks, and by the way, this is only on the front, it's not on the back. The new suspension I put on it, the pneumatic. Uh the old shocks, look how much of the look how much uh travel there is on them. Hardly any compared to new. And the uh, top of the shocks does stick out of the hood, but I think it looks freaking awesome. And it's got this, it's still got that cool, like, I don't know. It's in old cars. It looks really s cool. I have that right there, and then just some pipes looking things, and then these little things. And then these hoses are actually doing something, like, Definitely, uh, they're not just for there for, like, cool, coolness. Uh, if you look down in there, they actually come out of, when they go into this, they come down, and then they just go straight out. It's kind of hard to see. But they just go out, and then see there's one right there going down. There's actually two, because then the other hose connecting down there runs in back and then they go out the top here and then these are new things I put on just a second let me move them then it goes to that that switch and on the other side there's also one and these things are just added to look cool they kind of just tried to match it with this and I also made I think from my first video I made these the this wider to look better more so i just flip this instead of being like that it's like that now opposite basically um and that gave me a lot more travel well not travel i don't know why i said that it gave me it just looks i don't know what do you think post in the comments what do you think i think in my opinion i think it looks better um here, let me find, I can try to find what I, what I meant to say. Uh, post in the comments if you think it looks better than last time. And post in the comments if you like. And like the video if you like the pneumatic suspension. It really helps me out. Thanks so much for the views, too, on some of my other videos. I have really appreciate it. And I'll keep making these good videos for you guys. At least I think they're decent. Um... Uh, these videos for you guys um if you like them uh comment any other things that you like about it i've i've custom made these cool like gas tank things on those off-road cars those off-road uh, uh, they're not really cars cars are um technically cars are uh sorry i'm just talking about i just got off track but whatever cars are um Con cars are considered the ones that are like kind of like a sedan is kind of like it's more of a car like an suv is not considered a car it's considered an suv so is like a truck it's not considered well obviously but a car is more considered like a volkswagen jetta i think and uh or actually here's a good idea that's more of a car you see how it just goes straight down like it's kind of those two those that's not as much of a car, but 
like as much as a car shape or like ordinary but that one and that one is um it's kind of hard to explain just look it up you'll 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 see anyway uh um i guess i could fire it up and drive it if you guys want to see it driving Wait, give me a second, okay? So, so it just runs the Control Plus app, uh, Mercedes Benz Zetros, and I that kind of makes sense if you think about it because I did say it is the Zetros chassis. So, and in my app, in the Lego app, you know how if you have the Zetros, you'll know that the battery pack is flipped. Here, let me unplug the tree. It's flipped like like this, not like this. Well, anyway, in this, so to get it to look good, I actually just flipped it sideways. So some of the uh, app things do say um do say the wrong uh numbers, like the um the. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. Let me just turn it on. So, push the button. I made that easy access right there. I'll turn the sound off. So, it's that pitch and that pitch, I believe, are wrong. This one and this one, I believe, are wrong. Actually, that's not. That's not wrong, I don't think. But, um, that is, I believe. And you can actually see, if I flip it like this, this is sideways. I'm looking at the thing sideways. Do you see how the, that's 84 degrees? Well, it's not. It's just the battery pack is like that. Um, but that just shows you, you can see in the picture, that's how much it's raised. It's, it's tilted. It's pretty awesome. That's the suspension. I don't know about the arrow. I think that's might just be the direction, but do you want to see it drive? Okay, I guess I'll see it drive. Um, I've got it already, so. And I still included, like, I didn't change a lot of the body, so it still has the locking diff, which is if you're a four-wheeler, um, if you're, if you like four-wheeling and rock crawling and stuff, you'll know that locking diffs are great. Um, and what a locking, I can explain what a locking diff is, and I'll put it into a short too. But a locking diff is basically, uh, the, it's, um, it's kind of hard to explain on, uh, without showing it, but, so basically how it works is, you have, um, your differential in your car or whatever, and it helps it makes it so your wheels can turn uh, different directions. I mean, not different directions, but it makes it so your wheels can turn different speeds. And when your wheels turn different speeds, that's actually good on your tires um, and your wheels. It's just better for the body because then um, one side could go faster than the other. So then when you're turning, it evens out correctly. Instead of in the olden days before they invented differentials, it would be like, It would be so it would put a lot of pressure on certain parts of the car and that's not good and it just wears it down and overall differential having the differential makes it steer better too and so uh the locking diff um how that works is it locks um a certain part of the differential and it makes it so when it can't turn, the wheels can't turn, uh, it, they can't turn at the same time, they have to turn at the same, here, let me rephrase that, if you lock the diff, if your car has a locking diff, which it probably doesn't, unless it's, unless it's, like, 
off-road and stuff like that, like a Toyota Tundra Charity Pro, actually. I don't know if the new one has it, but the old one did, I believe. And just certain off-road cars have it, or I think you can, it's probably a lot of work, but you can put one on your car. I don't know why you would do that, but unless your car's like an off-road, like a Jeep or something, something like that. Or a Bronco, like something like that would have it. Um, and, or just like a really off-road car, or like a, I don't know, you know, you get the point. Um, and what it does is, so if you get stuck, if one wheel's slipping, which is, which will happen if you get, one wheel gets stuck in a differential, that's because it, the other one will get, it, the differential allows that one to get stuck, and it allows the other one to ride freely, but the other ones, if it's stuck, then it just stops, but the other one can keep turning. Well, so, here I'll show you, so, if I have my hand on this part of the differential here just give me a second i'm gonna enlarge these make them longer okay so if i have my hand on this part of the differential this is the wheel that got stuck on this side where my hand is um and this differential it can still turn this side can still turn do you see that this can still turn with this side and it will but this side's not turning if it gets stuck, but this side will. So what happens is when you lock the diff, it makes it so it won't allow for this one to keep, it won't allow for this one to, uh, it won't allow for it to, the differential to work how it usually works. It will allow it so it has to spin both wheels at the same time. And what that does is it, it's really good because then your one wheel won't slip. And so then it will get traction, enough traction and get out. It's kind of hard to explain. I hope I got it kind of good enough for you. Or not good enough, but like, makes sense. I hope it kind of makes sense. So, I'm gonna try to drive this with one hand. So it's got decent speed. Uh, the pneumatic shocks do, uh, I actually did have to put spacers on the front. Um, on the front wheels, cause these are bigger tires than sock on the original set um and uh and actually that's it for this video next video i'll show you guys it driving this video i just didn't have time i realized so thanks for watching uh hope you like the video like to the video and if you did like the video on the youtube haha <laughs> So, um, and subscribe, turn on notifications, the, sorry about that, I don't know why I paused, um, anyway, but this, I can talk about all these sets if you have any ideas, interests, or what are, or asking, like, that back trailer actually works on this so i'll do that in another video thanks for watching bye bye see you next time